And the bye, I can't even know so. No, but say you get out of the bo, or but say I can't go because today, as you know, to Oma, if you are man, but Oma, eh, she done and got a baby. She went to lie, na ya ne meno, but she get out na Eastern News Twenty Four. Bo, ever since we turn ya bo zi, I na bo morning tea ni lo akupo. Eh, no but she get out ya before dika, dika is ko na ngwa. I got na bo kwa nombo, dika ike ko lie. I need you daily update. Basta makiye ne meno buda. Ana basta maka ngolo wa na zo. Um, di ko si di over the year be prime minister kulo ne ba kupo. I will tell you no. Si kuno te alo. Basta makiye bi ife. Oga si yendo zondo ondo zo kugase. Mana si mba na ige te kulo ne ya kuno ge ya bi ife. Uno ge si aya. Una drop all your comments. You if you no chero. Basta makiye bi ife. Also, the key be a bobbin and carbon bosses again. I join a cabado key so I line here in a me. She a cool little poo moon nine doors aka. All right, cab up in your sick and you go soon near beef. I do make a web ya. Over to you, be a from Prime Minister, my son, money back. Over to you, sir. Land, get it rid of those invaders, aliens that we have nothing in common with. I have no question for you. The Nigerian army trained me in so many ways. They trained me in Russia, they trained me in North Korea, they trained me in Libya. And I have the expertise that can at least help to restore Biafra if need be. You said that if it is going to be difficult to bring Biafra from the Biafra land, Biafra will be brought from the diaspora. And exactly that is what you are doing. It is not by your mind you were blessed and called to do this job when others has failed have failed i say may god continue to bless you in anything that you are doing in order to restore my mother's ancestral land and i would like to say this will you be against anything anyone amongst us have done or going to do in order to propagate the freedom of our people, my mother's ancestral land, and Biafra, and the freedom of our people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. I can hear. Can someone hear me? Yes, I can hear yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you. Because everywhere I kept, you know, was quiet. Can we call on uh, Sabi Boz? Sabi, Sabi boy, boy, you have the mic, sir. I don't know you. Sabi, are you there? Okay, my Sabi boy, I'm with your mic and talk. <laughs> Sabi, are you there? Yes, I'm the mic, sir. Your question, one minute, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, my prime minister. Am I coming out clear, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no, we oh, no, get out of damba. Can you wake up and talk as a dear friend? Nobody hey. can damba in this trouble. Okay, okay, okay. Can you hear me now? Speak up, oh, okay. okay. Maybe I should come back from the back. Maybe my connection is bad. Hello? We can hear you, sir. Can you speak? Your one minute is gone now. Okay. So, Mazi, Onye, Onye, Buchi, Onye, Onye, Chibeze, you have the mic. Mazi, Chibeze, you have the mic, sir. Thank you, my sister. Maji Buaco, Onye, Rosana, they don't call. I don't know how to say thank you. You are the utmost. I just wanted to say thank you so much for what you are doing. And I will all protocol observe for the ministers, all those who are holding the line, thank you for being here. And even those who are listening, uh, what we are doing, bringing them more unless maybe one more before you will be able to understand you have to go spiritual you know some people are trying to find out who made you 
you have to go into spiritual before you will understand if not you will not understand but we move my own uh, is just it's not a question it's a it's kind of suggestion if you can be able to you know you know push the media a little bit uh because of our referendum uh, vote about uh, our people who are everywhere both in diaspora the ones who are home for the voting when it's ready so that uh, those people who are not aware will be aware so that they could be able to vote you know you were elaborating the other day in our space when uh, someone were asking you what of those who don't have a phone you were telling them those who have phone will give them and help them to do that you know let our media be able to because it's very close so that they could be able to push this in all platforms yeah i saw uh, the lady who are dry, uh, putting this together was talking about when the time comes i saw it on the on our platform if our all our medias in our platform will be able to do this let the people create that awareness the more so that uh, our people will not left behind thank you that's all i i have thank you very much yes we are going to make sure that media focus on that and uh, remember that uh, when we are ready the uh, information will be uh, passed to the public and then we are going to watch the first uh, month of data collection you know how uh, uh, acquitted our people are to the uh, platform and then we will uh, amend accordingly so uh, our target like i said is from 20 million 20 million people upward once we have 20 million people upward we will announce the date of the convention in finland so uh, people should understand that as you are registering for the database, you are also voting for the Afro referendum. It is a system that uh, you can never cheat. So we are building this thing to be international standard, to be what is going to shock the world. And everybody that comes across our database collection and the Biafra referendum voting will be proud of what the Afro government has done. So you can't cheat it. There is no rigging. Nigeria can never rig. There is no opportunity for anybody to rig. As you are registering your information, you are voting yes or no for Biafra. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Chine Mere? Uh, Stella. Stella. Sir? Excuse me, just a minute. Please, uh, uh, all of you listen on this space. If you are a communication, uh, uh, if a, a satellite a communication expert, you can contact the uh, government in exile or the media media team, the Minister of Information and Culture, Majestan Akparawa, contact him. Because a lot of you are just being concerned about uh, a widespread of this very message, especially in the Sub-Sahara and in Nigeria and in Biafra land. If you are a satellite communication expert, you can contact the Office of the Minister of Information and the Communication. Please, it's very, very important. Thank you. Thank you. Chine okay, Merem, you have thank a mic. You. Okay, Sister Stella, thank you. Our, our able Prime Minister, Master Simon Banjoko, the only good man on earth. I, I really, really appreciate your good works. And uh, hopefully, we'll celebrate Biafra uh, freedom this year. And uh, God, hear, God, God is hearing everything we are saying today. And I know that He will do it as he has been doing for us. So I want to ask a, a question, uh, not a question, but uh, <laughs> everything, uh, our brothers here, they have all, all as uh, uh, our brothers and sisters, they have all asked a very good question. But uh, I want to also tell our people to be also asking so question like, where can I donate? Where, what, uh, like, what can I do? What, what, what should I bring in? financially where where will i fix myself financially not somebody asking about question how can i get involved in homeland i can remember our leader when when he formed esn 
somebody contacted people on the ground and he come on air and he sacked that person from IPOD. So let us not be asking how to get involved in some something is going that is happening in our homeland. Let us do something like financial support so that they will do exploit, they will do more as we are expecting them, uh, we're expecting them to be doing. There's no need of asking what to do to get involved to them. It is not necessary for this moment. And please, our Prime Minister, please make it. Make that a uh, make that a uh, uh, announcement special so that everybody will take note of that. Thank you so much. This is what I want to say. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank you, Chine, Madam. Just support Biafra government. You are getting involved already. Thank you, um, uh, Prince. Prince Emmy uh, Solo, you have the mic, sir. Okay. Good afternoon from my location, Bia France. I greet you all. My EBPM, Mazi Simon Epa, may God bless you and give you more strength and wisdom to handle this situation that you are in. So my question goes like this. So we need uh, much fun in this uh, struggle, in this liberation. I'm asking if uh, the time has come when the people of the states will be written like later to the um, big marketers in the, in the states to be able to support the, what we're doing or the time is not yet. So this is my question. Uh, let us get into the second month of uh, the year first. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sunrise, you have the mic, sir. Sunrise, your question. Okay. If I in Naji, you have the mic, sir. If I in Naji, are you there? Okay, people are picking mic. I don't want to ask questions. Uh, Tina, Tina, you have the mic, ma. Uh, oh, good Tina, good morning, mic. my fellow beer friends all over the world. Good, good morning, depending on your time. On my side is a morning. Uh, good morning, my able prime minister. I have a quick question to ask, and this question may have been at one time or the other answered but I need a clarification. Uh, so my question is, once this registration starts, some of us have uh, children in diaspora, some very young, some older. So my question is, are we, as we start this registration, are we going to register our little, our children that we have in diaspora at the same time? And those of them that are of age that can vote, for this uh, referendum, are they going to be allowed to participate or is it just going to be we be a friends <clears throat> that are older that have left home um, uh, in diaspora? And uh, secondly, uh, when we are doing this um, registration, do we have to put the pictures of our ourselves and uh, like a, a passport a photo of ourselves and of our children? That is my question. Yes, you have to do that. There is an uh, option for putting uh, pictures, a uh, photo of yourself or passport photo of yourself. And anybody that is uh, uh, at age of 18 will have automatic right to vote uh, for the referendum. And those below 18 years don't have the right to vote. So if you have kids that are 18 years and above, they will have to register and then also vote. I remember that the system of uh, referendum is in a way that uh, as you are registering your data, submitting your details, uh, you will come to a point where you will be asked uh, uh, yes or no for Biafra. So that is the voting for the referendum. You know, people are expecting us to come and uh, start uh, uh, lining 
uh, lining in the in behalf of land to vote <laughs> people don't know what we are coming with you know they will be expecting when uh, they will see everybody line line up like uh, the zombies in the, in the zoo where they're doing voting we don't do that everything is electronic and we're starting it from the scratch electronic voting the very first time you can never read it so uh as you are putting in your details you will have uh, the option to select the voting for the BFR referendum and the yes or no. So those 18 years will have that option. Below 18 years will not have the option. Thank you. Thank you, Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Don't you go, you have the mic. Don't you go, apparent. Don't you go, are you there with your question? Seko, you have the mic, sir. Seko. Good afternoon, my fellow beer friends. Good afternoon, Prime Minister. I thank you so much for your good work that you have been doing for our people, Ndibo, and the entire Biafra at large. I thank you so much. I thank Kuki Kabiyama for the great strength he has given to you. Sir, I want to ask a question. And this question goes like this. I am feeling seriously pain in my heart based on what I have passed through since, starting from 2002 to the end of 2002. Let me say 2001 to the end of 2002, which I have called for your help. I have called for your assistance between I and my group, and I have been, always been kept aside. And for that reason, we have many things have gone so wrong, which I have also tested you. Sir, please, can you give me some lightings, the reason why you have abandoned some people who are ready to do everything for this struggle? Thank you, sir. The reason is that I am not a born near Do you understand the Igbo I speak? Yes, sir. I am not a born near So you yes, people, you people must remain calm. It will get to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. King Silly, you have the mic. King Silly, members. Okay. Francis, you have the mic. Francis, are you there? Okay. Romanus, you have the mic. Um, uh, sources. Romanus. Uh, sources. Uh -huh. After this, uh, after this space, uh, get in touch with Seko. Uh, good afternoon. Sources. Am I coming out? Sources, are you there? Hold on, please. My host, are you there? Sources, are you there? Or the network has kicked you out as usual. No, I am here. I am here. I am here. I am here. Just attending to other issues. Okay. Yes, okay. I so, will. I will like a second now. I will like yes. a second. All right. I will like to hear. Thank you. And then give me a feedback. Even I even have your WhatsApp number. I can just chat you once now. I have your WhatsApp number with me. I have tested you some times ago, which you have told oh, yeah, me do to that. do that now. Do that now. Let me see. Okay. Can you see Okay. Yeah. I have the mic. Okay. Good afternoon, House. Good afternoon, my PM. Am I coming out clear? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, okay. go ahead, King Sidley. Okay, okay. My good, good afternoon, my PM. My question goes like this, PM. Uh, please, uh, as we are looking up to see Biafra coming, because already we are in the land of Biafra by the school uh, by by the special grace of Kokika Biama. We are already Sim Biafra. My question goes like this: and like all these, uh, our people now that uh, they are pursuing them from here and there, from Lagos, from everywhere, from Kano, from everywhere and there, and they are coming down to Biafra land to make an investment. And now that they are making all this investment, because I heard from uh, uh, our supreme leader, Mazen uh, Nande Kano, that when Biafra come that uh, we will redesign Biafra in such a way that everything will have its own way, like a sewage and all this about. 
Now that all these people are making all this investment and building everywhere, what will happen when the Biafra come? How are they going to do all these structures that they are building anyhow? I rest my case. Thank you, my peer. Um, uh, you don't invest <clears throat> in an Islamic state. I said today, whatever investment you are making under Nigeria is gamble. And gamble, it will always be. So if you are making investment, you are gambling your money. Biafra will build a standard city in all the state. So if your whatever you are building today does not meet the standard, then it means that, like I said, it is a gamble. We are going to structure Biafra state, building sewage system. And if you go to the charter of Biafra, every that issue you raise now have been addressed in the charter. So, including the land law, everything has been addressed in the Charter of Biafra that was adopted in Helsinki. So, we have prototypes for Biafra cities, and so shall it be. So, no amount of structure or investment you put in Biafra land that will stop us from developing our nations, our state, and cities to international standard. We want to be, we want to go uh, beyond Dubai, and we are already in talk with companies that will build their facilities. So I don't understand why people will be saying they want to go and invest. Invest where? The reason why we are having our command in different parts of Nigeria today is for physical attack against our people. You see the ejection of Biafrans in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria will happen. It is what God has ordained. It is going to happen. Nobody will stop it. It is part of the exodus. So those who want to invest, why would you invest when you can't guarantee the safety of your investment? Anywhere in Nigeria, you can never guarantee the investment. So what you need to do first is to get your freedom so that you can invest and be guaranteed that your investment will be secured, your properties will be secured. You better invest when the Biafra government are unveiling the urban development of Biafra. Today, we have the, unveiled the urban development where people can actually purchase apartment. And when Biafra has been declared and restored, you own apartment in the Biafra uh, uh, estate, in the Biafra structures. So that is the best investment you can do for now. But any investment you do under Nigeria is gamble. Believe me, and it is going to happen. For those who think that what we are doing is a joke, I want you to reflect back from 2022 or from 2021 till today. In 2021, you take us as a jokers. 2022, you were still taking us as jokers. But in 2023, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my PM. A pleasure to speak with you today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, we don't want you to be overstressed. We have well over 18 people waiting to pick up Mike. When you're tired, just tell me, sir. I will stop here to attend to other meetings. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you very much. And uh, you have really, uh, at least, you spend a lot of time with uh, fellow dear friends this afternoon and a lot of questions. Uh, was answered, a clarification made, and uh, nobody will say no roadmap. Your roadmap is as clear as the the. So we thank you for showing up, and uh, I will say, fellow beer friends, uh, I think we shall be drawing the curtains from here. Uh, other. Stella, you can get everything in your hands. Let us see what they have to say. Thank you. Okay, sir. Offer the delay. You have the mic, sir. Offer the delay. Your question. Yeah. Hello, good afternoon. 
Mama come not clear. Oh, good afternoon, fellow dear friends and my um honored to be in this panel this afternoon. Please, I have a concern. Recently, I traveled to Ghana, and uh, the place I'm staying, I met somebody who told me that the IPOB there before had some issues, and some of them were even locked up. So after some series of uh, uh, things they did, they were released. So since then, the struggle has not been there. I feel it has not been strong there. So some weeks back, some individuals came to where I stay, and they were kind of there for IPUB and uh, they need support for ESN. I obviously knew they were not from the Biafra Republic government in exile. So I was just looking at them then. After I feel some people there gave them some amounts and they left. So since then, I've been trying to ask if there's any uh, process that will get the Biafra Republic government in exile to Ghana. Because I know there are a lot of our people in Ghana. A lot, a whole lot of our people are here. And uh, the, the uh, Ghana, as it stands now, is a kind of left out. So it's, I know those people should be from the, uh, the fallen angels. So I want to know if there's anything that can be done for the Biafra Republic government in order to have a version of this, or if there's any plan for Ghana. So that's what I wanted to ask our PM. Okay, I think we have a Ghana WhatsApp group, uh, if it is still functioning or not. But um, don't worry, PM is listening at the... Okay, he's coming back. He's back. He's back. Okay, thank you. I will be glad to hear from him. Sir. Yeah, he's back now. Yes, yes, yeah, thank you very much. Yes, we have Ghana family and uh, please get in touch with the media team with the minister of uh, communication and uh, you are going to get uh, the information for that family thank you oh thank you my pm i'm so grateful sir and thank you for everything you are doing for beer france we are taking notes and uh, uh i know chuko kikabiyama will give you all the strength and the doggedness you need to take us to the promised land you see? Thank you, thank you. Then, uh, okay, uh, these three people raising hands, please uh, be fast about it. I uh, don't have time, I need to go for okay. that. Uche. Uche, na. Next month, you have the mic, sir. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Sister Stella. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, good afternoon to our Prime Minister and the co hosts, uh, Mr. Sosses. Uh, I have a question. And, uh, you know, like the last speaker said something about uh, like admin or the Biafra Republic government in exile in Ghana. So in where I'm living in Georgia, Tbilisi precisely, you know, that uh, we also need something like this because, uh, you know, this issue of not having admin made a lot of people to be like, you know, Georgia, Georgia, question. Georgia, Georgia in USA, right? No, 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 no. Georgia in old Soviet Union. Okay, okay. okay. So my question okay. is, how can yes? My question is, how can uh, because uh, you know, uh, like uh, other countries are also uh, inclusive because uh, so many of our Biafran brothers and sisters who are interested to be you know to support you know you know the Biafra government in exile in one world or the other, they are afraid because of security reasons. In their prison okay, residence. What, 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 what you do? See what you will do, eh? To so cut this story short. On Saturday, make sure you appear on the fundraising. Then um, state the okay. type of job you are representing. Then uh, it will be granted. So on All Saturday, right. uh, from seven to eight p.m. Biafran time, 
the fundraising will kick start. So make sure you you join through the Zoom. Is it going to be a Zoom gathering? And yes, I was. There. Yes, I was there last time. Sorry for you know for interrupting you. So I was there last time, and uh, uh, our Minister of Information he misheard me because I told him Georgia, Tbilisi, Georgia, but he thought that is Tbilisi in uh, is Georgia in the uh, United States of America. So yeah. So and uh, another the question I also wanted to ask is how can we be able to you know talk to people who are you know they are afraid of security reasons you know because of the way our leader uh, Mazin Amdekano was kidnapped from Kenya so many people are afraid they want to support but they are afraid so how can you know we support how can you know I just wanted to ask our you know PM uh, how but can nobody, nobody nobody should be it's okay. Nobody should be afraid of supporting his government. We are not on a group. This is not a yeah. group. This is a government. Duly recognized government by international and local law. So we are government. And anybody who is still afraid of um, supporting Biafra now, I think he's just giving that as an excuse to himself and not to others. Others who are there supporting what have happened to them. People are in the field with the, with the gun fighting battles. What have happened to them? You see people here every time their faces are over social medias what has happened to them so anybody who is giving as uh, freedom as an excuse is not ready for this very uh, freedom and they should not be taken serious we are on the government and not a group so tell them that um uh, okay. uh, mazara for your welcome yeah, thank, you. Have something to say. I want to say, thank you to our brother in tbilisi um please uh, get your people and our people around there in tbilisi uh, preach the gospel of the Biafra Republic government to them. You know, if you have been able to do that and you get a number of people, even if you start with five people, ten people, then you, you will uh, you will get them together and then you have a WhatsApp group. It's very important. You yes, uh, yes, yes. Already, I created a WhatsApp group and I have about uh, ten people already. So, but this question I asked so that these guys that because before i uh, what i did i have to ask question i called a lot of people so i asked them question uh, are they supporting our pm are they supporting our government in exile so they said yes i said okay i'm creating a first uh whatsapp group chat. so uh, have, I, you able, some, have you been able some, to access yes, the sir. website yourself have you been able to make any donation is it easy for you to make donations Yes, I made the notion last time, and uh, the admin of uh, North and South America actually helped me to pay. Beautiful. Uh, it can help me last time. Beautiful. So, uh, yes. so those of them that are willing to do the same, teach them how to do it. Those that cannot do it, you will help them to do it. And then, you know, it generates receipts to them by their email. All you need to do is just collect their email address and do it while they are there, show them. that They will do it, and they will get their receipts. Then on the uh, fundraising, we'll call their names. And just like that, the gospel will be spread. One of you, if you have the WhatsApp uh, number, send me the number so that we'll put it uh, in the media. So people from uh, all across Georgia will get in touch with you, okay? Just send me your number. Okay, so right? my, my WhatsApp number, right? Yeah, send it to me. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, I will do that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Minister. Um, that guy, you have the mic, sir. That guy. Good, good good afternoon, my fellow PR fans. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, please. This uh I wanted that addressing directing this question directly to uh Marcy Simon. But uh, since uh, success is here, I can go ahead and Raphael again is here, I can go ahead and uh, and uh, direct the question to him. What's happened to the guy? It's off. Where are you? He's off. He's off. He's having a okay. very big issue. John, John uh, Repository. Yeah, John should be the last person. So I say he has a lot to do. So let John yeah. be the yeah. last person. So I say he get along. Yeah. All right. Can, can I can I speak? Yes, sir, John. All right. Um. Uh. Good afternoon, Madam Stella. And uh, good afternoon to my able prime minister. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming out clearly. Yes, sir. All right. Um, I want to deliver a message to my prime minister. Uh, I don't know 
is he still around? Deliver your message, you will get it. Okay, fine. Um, the last time our Prime Minister talked about um, putting a stop to the natural resources, all these thieves are taking from our land, if they don't negotiate with the right people, which is de facto government. And after he said that, I could no longer sleep. Anytime I close my eyes, it will look as if they are drilling everything. I don't know if our prime minister could give us probably a timeline at which that warning could be given to them in order to stop anything they are taking from that land without talking with the right people. So that is all I wanted to know. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then we are not giving anybody a timeline. Uh, like, take for instance, as you saw it happening in uh, um, um, uh, Bakasi region of Biafra, we are not giving anybody a timeline. If we catch you, that is your end. As a soldier, or as an engineer, or as a worker, or a rig worker, whatever. And in Bakasi, there is a red line. In the maritime region of Bakasi Peninsula, Please, can you meet yourself? John, mute yourself and we'll check. Who have you mute yourselves? So, in the region of uh, Bakasi, which is part of Biafra, we draw the red line there. And the two joint border securities has been doing everything possible to ensure that drilling went on. So, so long as this war is concerned, there is nothing about a negotiation we will stop them from drilling first they will have to renegotiate already we gave the uh, people drilling at the bakasi region a long a, a, a very soft landing pay a simple tax to the biafran government recognize the biafran government and pay them a tax you can continue the drilling they thought it was a joke yesterday they, they came a few days ago they were at the, at the bakasi with the chief of defense to Cameroonian uh, uh, army, and they did their jamboree and left. Yesterday, a lot of them gave their life to Christ for judgment. At that very same maritime border, the drilling point. So we don't consider anything now, or whatsoever. There's nothing like giving them a uh, timeline. We have already written to them for recognitions. They must recognize the Biafran government, and that's all. Until they will be the one to look for us. Where are we? What are we supposed to do? Then we tell them, this is what you are going to do. Then we have to lift the red line and put on a normal uh, uh, crossing line for them. But for now, there is no drilling in Biafra. Any drilling is illegal. And if you are caught, you're on your own. So that's it. Thank you. Uh, um, I mean, uh, I hope Shell is inclusive in this scenario. Every, every oil firm that has, has agreement with Nigeria the total, the F, Shell, ExxonMobil, all of them put together are part of this we are saying. There's no exclusion. What has Shell done to us? Shell sponsored the genocide against Biafra in 67. In fact, we don't even have to accept agreement from Shell because they sponsored the genocide, including Julius Berger. Sponsored the Biafra genocide in 67, 70. So, there's nobody excluded. Everybody is included. If you must have our mineral resources, then you have to have agreement with the Biafran government. Otherwise, you are dealing it illegally, and when you cut you, you are going to die illegally. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. You. Well, that's the thank last, you. sir. That's the last person. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mazaraf, do you have anything to tell the uh, Biafran people? Then go ahead. Yes. It's been a very wonderful afternoon, uh, Mother Sosa. And um, my Prime Minister has uh, really shown how his heart for Biafra is. You know, he didn't, um, you know, host this, but he has been a part of it from the beginning to this time. And I will give him a song. <laughs> PM, we appreciate our PM and everyone 
in Biafra land, they will understand that a new sheriff is in town. Everyone in the other part of the divide will understand that a new sheriff is in town. He will know Gri go Gri. He will know Sabi go Sabi. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. It's been a wonderful afternoon. I greet you all. Thank you. All right. Uh, the good guy, please. Uh, thank you, Mazraf, for that. The good guy, please, can you give your final uh, closing remark? The good guy, are you there? Not sure. Yeah. And by that only no consciousness or any name, never go. Adeke is away gay, be fair, in rear the ballon, the gentle lion who was in Iraq war, no basin catano, or that the key be a bone. Gave you a equal bastama, I be fend that you know who was in Iraq war. Folk will in there, open the cause in the cave, you will keep bastama, I be fair. A drop wire on the comments on below. Chitupe di yabu, Eastern News 24, kaisi wene wotelo nupozi ya dokeba. Dano nungu 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 n